Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Physics for Medical and Engineering. Today we will going to discuss the construction and working of helium neon laser. In a previous video, we had a discussion on construction and working of ruby laser. Ruby laser is also known as three level laser. The main disadvantages of this three level laser are it occurs in a non continuous pulses, it requires high power pumping source difficult to maintain population inversion and it is less efficient and this drawbacks led to development of four level laser it was first invented by iranian physicist ali jawan and william r bennett in the year of 1960 they worked on the principle of converting electrical energy to a laser light output helium neon lasers have many industrial and scientific uses and are often used in the laboratory demonstration of optics. Helium neon laser is a four level laser and it operates in a continuous working mode. Its usual operation wavelength is 632.8 nanometer in the red portion of the visible spectrum. The light from helium neon laser is more directional and much more monochromatic as compared to that from solid state laser. The helium neon laser employs electrical pumping. Now helium neon laser definition. Helium neon laser is a type of laser in which a mixture of helium and neon gas is used as a gain medium. Helium neon laser is also known as HNE laser. Now let's see what is a gas laser. A gas laser is a type of laser in which a mixture of gas is used as the active medium or laser medium. Gas lasers are most widely used laser. Gas laser range from the low power helium neon laser to the very high power carbon dioxide lasers. The helium neon lasers are most commonly used in a college laboratories whereas the carbon dioxide lasers are used in industrial applications. The main advantage of gas lasers over solid state laser is that they are less prone to damage by overheating so they can be run continuously. Now let's see the construction of helium neon gas laser. Here is a simplified diagram which showing basic features of helium neon gas laser. The setup consists of a discharge tube of length 80 cm and bore diameter of 1.5 cm. This tube is filled with a mixture of neon under a pressure of 0.1 mm and helium under a pressure of 1 mm. There is a majority of helium atoms and minority of neon atoms. At one end of the tube there is a perfect reflector while on the other end there is a partial reflector. The active material is excited by applying a few kilowatt DC power supply. Now let's see how helium neon laser work. When the power is switched on, a high voltage of about 10 kilovolt is applied across the gas mixture. This power is enough to excite the electrons in the gas mixture. The electrons produced in the process of discharge are accelerated between the electrodes that is cathode and anode through the gas mixture. In this laser, the neutral neon atoms form the active laser material while the helium atom acts as a buffer gas and is used to selectively populate the levels of neon. Now this is the way by which we can represent the excitation process. When the electron collides with the ground state neon, uh, sorry, helium atom it makes them to move in a higher excited state and when this excited helium atom collides with the ground state neon atom it makes neon atom to move in a higher excited state and after passing the energy to the neon atom the helium atom moves spontaneously to the ground state. Now this is the energy level diagram for helium and neon atom. Now, when the energy from the pumping source is applied to the helium neon gas mixture, then some of the energy is absorbed by the helium atoms. In other words, we can say that 
helium atoms achieve an excited state which is metastable state now when this excited helium atoms move within the laser tube they collide with the ground state neon atoms at each collision some of the energy within the helium atom is transferred to the neon atom and so raising it to an excited metastable state the energy of helium state e3 is very close to the energy of neon state e2 when a sufficient number of neon atoms reach to this state e2 then population inversion occurs in this state in this manner neon level e2 can become heavily populated than neon level e1 now suppose that a single photon is spontaneously emitted as a neon atom transfer from state e2 to state e1 this photon traveling through the mixture of the gas is reflected back and forth by the reflecting mirrors until it stimulate an excited neon atoms and causes it to emit a fresh photon which is in phase with the stimulating photon through such a chain reaction a coherent beam of red laser light moving parallel to the tube axis can build up rapidly and the laser light of wavelength 632.8 nanometer is emitted through the partially reflecting mirror this stimulated transition from 20.66 electron volt level to 18.70 electron volt is the laser transition the neon atoms are brought to the ground state from the state e1 through the collision with the walls of the tube hence the final transition is radiation less so i hope you understood the construction and working of helium neon laser if you have any question or suggestion do let me know in the comment section below if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you